tonight. Could we see some other signs in the future? <laughs> uh, I mean, you never know. You never know. Uh, I mean, that's part of the youth of our team, <laughs> just understanding, you know, what the what the the goal is at the end of the game, <laughs> you know. So, coach said he brought out these signs to help promote defensive <laughs> communication. Uh, did that did that help? How would you rate the communication? Yeah, uh, it's I'm gonna talk about them. It's a ridiculous sign, but <laughs> it gets our attention. It gets us to know what we need to do, so it works. So, <laughs> well, it snapped the Nets into defensive <laughs> mode, as you can see right there. And Dennis Scott, he was paying attention too. He was on the sign. It's like a Ghostbuster sign. Shooter's paradise, leave it, make it rain. So this is very innovative out of Kenny Atkinson. You know, we, we, we heard Michael say we've seen this in college football, but what do you think of it, and who can we see next, Frank? You know, it's funny. I, I'm wondering, you know, with Dennis Scott, who shoots threes, and I, maybe Kenny's, like, reminding his team, run them off the uh, three-point line, and it worked because Houston is a three-point shooting team. And, you know, Chris, the thing is, when you get a lead in the fourth quarter, let them score two-point baskets. That's okay. You can't let the Rockets make three. So there's definitely some kind of inside joke there. But how about tonight? How about one of Dennis Rodman to remind the team do not right. allow Andre Drummond to rebound? Right. So I thought I thought along the same lines actually. Yeah. It was like